This is the Hypothetically Sound Podcast, hosted by Alec, Randy, and Xavier, where we take a hypothetical look at the world around us, exploring the what-ifs, maybes, and how-comes. Join in on the unfiltered, raw, and real conversations as we explore the world around us. Welcome back to Hypothetically Sound. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you are enjoying our Earth's Mysteries and Wonders season. We're in the middle of doing some mythical creatures. And guys, uh, I think today I'm going to lead us through my favorite mythical creature, and that is the dragon. Like, the dragons to me are the dopest creatures because, one, they're literally in every single mythos of every single culture. Uh, the Europeans have their own dragon lore. Uh, the Asian continents have their own uh, dragon lore. America has dragon lore. Like every place has their own dragon lore. So it's amazing to me. Uh, how do you guys feel about dragons? They're dinosaurs with wings. I have a special connection. They used to call me dragon in high school. Because you dragged your nuts on boys' chins? The reasons aren't important. Oh, all right. Okay. Just know they used to call me Dragon in high school. All right. Okay. Okay. No, it's uh, dragons are really cool, and I you touched on what I think my theory of what a dragon is and where it came from. Uh, we talked about it in our dragon, not dragon episode. Obviously, this is it. Uh, in the dinosaur episode, I brought up the fact that uh, they found that all of a sudden a large two uh our ground dinosaur became a flying dinosaur in a matter of like months. And I think that's where the lore of dragons came from is, uh, they survived longer than other dinosaurs cause they were flying. And, uh, they were just large creatures that people were like, Oh, it's cool. Why do you think a uh, dragon yeah. lore is a thing? You think, uh, it's a dinosaur or what do you guys think? I don't know, it really kind of makes you wonder when you see it, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Many different versions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I want to say, I feel like dragons were like made up, kind of like the, or at least in medieval times, or like, like giants and shit to like, try to impress people. I don't don't know. Yeah. Because like. It's it's pretty easy to come up with a stupid ass story for people to believe back then, right? Mm-hmm. Or you assume so. So like, why wouldn't like? I think that's how they probably started. Honestly, no, it makes sense. Uh, it could have been used as a scare tactic to, like you said, make uh, a, a a fighter more scary, like Achilles being the son of a god and being all strong and powerful, not losing in battle. Uh, that like you want to spread a lore to like get people to be scared of your army or a certain warrior. Uh, what I find interesting though is the lore is not the same in any one like continent or culture. Like everyone's dragon is different. Like Europeans are, uh, what you you see in like Game of Thrones dragons and like King Arthur dragons and stuff like that. And then you have the Asian lore, which is more of a serpent luck based dragon uh, that wasn't feared, but was something to covet. And then you got American dragons, which are more like nature uh, beings. So kind of like green dragons, like they're uh, small, a little smaller and more nature based. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, dragons are, are dope. Uh, do you guys know when the first time? You recall like seeing a movie or TV show with dragons in it? No, I can't even. I think I read it in a book first. Uh, I can't. I know they've been around our whole life because uh, our father's obsessed with dragons hmm. and like uh, right now. dragon Hold type things. Uh, he has pictures, books. He watched movies. Anything with dragons, the dog is shook. Anything with dragons, he was about. So it was always around. Like it was always just a concept that uh, I was familiar with. So obviously, uh, like we said, they've been around since dinosaur age, and like they're used in TVs, movies, uh, like they like said, Game of Thrones is a huge one. King Arthur. Um, if you could, uh, 
would you fight a dragon? Like you were back in the day, medieval, and they were like, let's go on a dragon hunt. Would you join in that hunt? No fuck way. no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So you're telling me medieval times, you're chilling, drinking your beer, enjoying your life. You're somehow knighted, even though you're colored. And uh, this, these guys come in, it's like, we're going to go hunt a dragon. And you're like, the fuck's that? You're like, imagine this big lizard, right? Giant wings, like 30 feet tall. You know, breeze fire. Breeze fire. <laughs> and it'd be like, dog, you could have just shut the fuck up after you said giant lizard. Like, why the fuck would I deal with that? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I just always think. Why? I, I mean, if if we had super like superpowers and we lived in a <laughs> you know like an RPG or something, sure. But like you ever think about that? Like you know, even in medieval times, like all the metal that was worn, you know, and if dragons breathed fire, like man, you'd be cooked alive on the inside of your suit armor in a matter of seconds. I was like, I was gonna say that when you see like the stories and stuff and people block it with a shield and it's like, nah, that shit, that sh- your arm gone, that shit hurt, it melted, right? Yeah. That fire's long, light, a lot stronger than the fire used to make your shield. Like, yeah, yeah, that shit, that shit all melted to you. Like that sounds agonizing. But I want a princess after I slay the dragon, guys. How am I but, supposed to get a? But like, imagine princess? this. Imagine this. Be smart. Be smart, right? Let's say a group of guys go out and don't come back. Now your chances just went up by a lot. True. There's no one else out there to sue her. Right? <laughs> exactly. See, <laughs> see, you're thinking dumb. You're like, I'm gonna go slay the dragon so I can. Uh, Get with the princess, and all the while I'm already fucking her because I didn't go. It's simple, easy. <laughs> like I, life's good for me. For you, you dead. Me, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm about to be a king. You know what, Laura? Laura, I never understood when it came to dragons. This, <laughs> this, this idea <laughs> that dragons hoard gold. Yeah, no, you, you never understood that one. Yeah, what? what, what uh, are they just like running up into the well, crib and like give me your gold and like grabbing it with their little tiny ass arms and tucking it under their man boobs? I'm on pause, pause. Are you but talking about like, dragons? Yeah, you, did yeah. you say dragons have tiny little arms and not fucking T Rexes? They still what, have what tiny is, arms. They don't have fucking do massive look arms. Look up a dragon right now. Look up a dragon right now and tell me, and show me a picture of one with tiny little arms. And if you pick. Not like I want a dragon, not a fucking wyvern, which is a completely different fucking beast. A dragon. So they have two feet and then two massive arms. <laughs> no, here we go. Bo- boom, perfect. I got the perfect picture. Ready? I'm gonna, all right, all right. Post gonna, it. Let me see it. I'm going to share it on my screen. Share screen. Boom. Perfect. Little Brady. tiny arms. Brady, that is a fucking cartoon a child drew. <laughs> or an adult with no fucking artistic talent. Yeah, look at it. Small arms. They have little no. tiny arms. Where, They're not where, grabbing where all the gold. Arms on any of these right here. Pictures. Look at that tiny arm on that Komodo that's dragon. Not, that's literally a quarter of its fucking body. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just saying, how are they grabbing up all this gold? With their fucking arms and or mouth. So I don't think. So I don't. I don't think the um the thing of it is that necessarily like specifically gold. I think it's just treasure shiny. Like mm. they like to. Yeah, it's like a crow. shiny. <laughs> but how are yeah. they? Dragons are just it? giant crows, dude. Where they are they getting talons. it from? Come on, hold on. Talons. How are they getting they get it? From random places. Have you seen a it? crow pick up some some a coin, a fucking bottle cap or something? You ever how seen how a? Are they you, ever, this gold? you ever seen? You ever seen a hawk fly in the sky and go, oh? Yeah, and grabs a fucking pig off the ground. Totally. Cool. Yeah, but like. Is this dragon like? Up, is this see. dragon going snatch? Oh, I got a handful. Yeah. Let okay. me go back you, to my cave. Here's, a, here's a question. Oh, I'm gonna go back now. Hey, hold on. Here's a question. Are you just assuming that dragons are like brainless and just have a single routine of wake up, eat a sheep, go back to bed? Yeah. What else are they gonna do? Why the fuck, dude? They just yeah, they do whatever oh, so the fuck they want. You subscribe to the theory that dragons were intelligent creatures. A little bit more than what you are, yeah. <laughs> 
Like some uh, of them talked in, in some of the stories. Like uh, they know and English. I mean, and I mean, the who taught them English, Randy? Stuff. Why aren't you the, freaking out more about the English thing and then other, other than the gold thing? That makes no sense. The, the lore behind it, though, too, right, is that they're thousands and thousands of years old. Yeah. So if you think about the fact that throughout that period of time, you know, it's not that they're probably grabbing like, ooh, a penny, ooh, a penny. You know, it's more <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yeah. A uh, caravan gets I mean, destroyed like, honestly, somewhere, swoops if, by, picks it up, a chest. The chest has some loot in it. Like what if what if they are going ooh, a penny every time they go out after a thousand years? See a penny, I mean, pick it up all day luck, you'll have good luck. You what? fucked that up. Babe, yeah, uh, man. yeah. So what the fuck's wrong with you, man? I can't speak. I know. That hurts my feelings. Good. I don't like you anymore. Okay. Awkward silence. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Also, again, Ran, I don't understand how you're like so upset about them gathering gold, which doesn't seem as far fetched as the fact that someone has to teach these motherfuckers English to talk to people or whatever language it is, right? Even if they are around for a thousand years, I'm sure every human that they met, they probably killed. And not a single one was like, you know, it'd be really cool if we could just like talk this out. Like, let me teach you words. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then Dragon was like, ah, fuck it, yeah. Maybe that's what happened. That that is not, it's not what happened. It's definitely not what happened. It must be. It can't be. Well, if, you know, Dragon can people happened, yeah, it must have. Who said anything about dragons and humans mating like that? What? You, why'd you bring that up? Why'd you bring up Dragon Ken people? That's fucking I'm weird. Just saying, I'm You're just saying, saying now this guy's like, now that we talked it out, <laughs> now I can get to know you a little better. Maybe some yep. wine, maybe some dining, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yep, that's what happened. Y'all, y'all fucking weird. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. So, you are given a wish, and that wish is from a dragon. Yeah, okay. What are you wishing for? Because it's also lore is that dragons granted wishes like they were fucking genies. Oh, so it's just a genie wish? So, so, so like, like, is there anything I can't wish for? No, you can remember with any, this is at least how I prescribe to the genie wishes. I said, any wish you have, there is a consequence to that wish. Like, so if you wish for a billion dollars, that money is coming from someplace. It's not, it can't, nothing that you wish for can just be fabricated out of nothing. So it's like, uh, what's the fucking magic? I can't think of it. Fucking, uh, the magic where you take something and it, like, you use something, take something. Well, you should probably use your wish to get some bitches. No one's in. Uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that magic called? <laughs> Help me! I hate you. Uh, not chemistry. Are you talking about like monkey paw? <laughs> like, no, it, it alchemy. Thank fucking shit, alchemy. Oh, okay, alchemy. I get what you're saying. Oh, you uh, want the, yeah. the 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 law of uh, equivalent exchange? Yes. So uh, if you you wish for someone to be come back alive, that means someone is going to die. So then mm-hmm. he's not giving us a wish. He's doing alchemy. Yeah, he's. he's uh, I guess he's, yeah. It's a dragon. So yeah, it's doing alchemy. It's a dragon. All right, uh, Xavier, you started a lot. I think about my wish. Uh, I really <laughs> implore you, Randy, to I, really think I, about that bitch's wish, though. I'm, I'm telling you. You, you, need you think you say your wish? Cause I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, man, you go wish. first. You go first. Okay. With the laws of alchemy in place, I would wish to have Bitch. a career as successful as. Who don't I want to have success anymore? <laughs> As someone who did something really bad, but I don't do the really bad stuff. So like uh, Weinstein, like I have his career, but without the fucked up shit that he did. So getting caught? No, but no, that's part of the. Yeah, yeah, you would have to. You would have to. You would have to. You would have to. No, I said I want no, his you, career. I didn't say I want his life. Well, I said part career. Of his career. But that the law of the equivalent. Career. Yeah, the law of the equivalent exchange is you would have yeah. to take. Fine, I, I'll pick something. Would also I want caught. the career and life of Brad Pitt. So well, he gets to have my shitty life. He gets to have my shitty life. Okay, but what what negative do you receive out of this? There is no negative. It's a sequel exchange. Like so, he takes Brad Pitt's life, 
it, 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 it comes down to are to you o- Jolie. are you okay with ruining potentially ruining someone's life or like by me taking over Brad Pitt's life, I'm bringing in my own people and shit. So I just ruined like fucking thousands of people's lives. Everybody that Brad Pitt had dealt with is like screwed over with any future things. Yeah, that I think Brad you're Pitt just wasting it, dude. You should have just really uh, wish for some bitches. And the worst <laughs> thing you got is a couple of crazy ones, like. No, then I would actually get bitches. I'll just, just give me dogs. Any companionship for you, I guess. <laughs> I already have one. He already too much. Go ahead. I think I would. I I, I would probably. I would probably wish for just um. Yeah, I would, I, I, <laughs> I would probably just wish for uh. Continuing happiness. Okay, so what would what would what would come out like? What would what would be the fucking monkey paw effect of that bullshit? When anybody who's, else who's... loses their happiness, nah, it's whenever someone gets hurt or something, you're still happy about it. So oh, you're just you're fucking just happy, sad anymore. You can't, can't be sad, anymore. You can't can't be sad. sad no more. Oh no, that actually sounds awful. Your great uncle died. Like, oh. That's cool. He was he was a bad guy anyway. Oh, uh, dude, my mom just died. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that fucking sucks. <laughs> what beautiful weather we're having, huh? <laughs> At least it's sunny. What a good day to die, huh? Oh, look, I found a penny. Yeah, so my wish is is very simple, and it can't really backfire. I just wish that when I die, I become the new lord of whatever dimension I go to. Elden Ring? Hell, (laughs) it doesn't really matter. Either way, I get power. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the it's kind of like the same concept of like if I ever sold my soul it would be to like have a higher power in hell. So when I do die, in case I do go to, I can do whatever the hell I want on earth at this point. The right? monkey paw effect would be pretty wild though, right? It'd be something like you can't die. Yeah, he can't die or he oh, dies. Oh no, I'm and... immortal <laughs> and I want to use that to my gain? No. Oh dear. He dies, he can still die. And he just gets transported to a brand new realm that has nothing. It's just no. darkness. It's, it's simple, guys. It's guys, uh, I die. And none of it exists. Just dead. <laughs> <laughs> he wow! you out of your I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. <laughs> he gypped you out of your. You thought you thought you were uh, beating me. You bested me not. As as I as I die, he visits me on my deathbed. As I you know breathe my final breath, he goes. Should have wished for some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this this alchemy dragon, after he gives us our one wish. He informs yeah. us that it was all a ploy, and yeah. he's actually going to transport us back in time until th- when dragons existed. Where are you? Go- where are you going to? What continent uh, of dragon are you going to try to live in? The Asian, Asian dragons, dude. European dragons, African dragons. Can I, can Asian I, dragons for he, sure. This, this motherfucker is going to say that to me, and I'm going to be like, "Nigga, you alive? Like you exist <laughs> now? Like, are you bringing me back to you? Know what I'm saying? Like you dumb as fuck." Uh yeah. Also yeah, Asian. Like those. I I feel like uh, uh, Asian culture dragons uh are not nicer. Like y'all seen Mulan? I'm about to say Mushu. Yeah. Yeah, You know, like if I could have a little homie like Mushu, like nothing, nothing could go wrong. Hey. So yeah. All the other, all the other ones want to fucking eat you, or like you got to worship. They they want to steal your pennies. Yeah, steal your pennies, <laughs> or you gotta like sacrifice your firstborn no or some pennies. shit. So yeah, oh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Where would you go, man? I would go to Asia. Uh, okay, <laughs> just to up. try to like claim one to be my house, my family dragon that watches us as we grow, and my kids have dragons supporting <laughs> them for the rest of their lives, and their kids, and then their kids. How did- how and then it turns out the alchemy dragon is my own dragon. And he did all of that because he was lonely and got no bitches <laughs> either. <laughs> He's just looking for friends. Facts. That's all I want in my life. All I need in this life of sin is me and my dragon. Me and my dragon. 
<laughs> with that, Alec, do you have a shout out for the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to people who see narwhals. I've never seen one in real life, and I still don't know if they're real. But like, you know, this is about mythical creatures and shit. And I don't, I've never seen narwhal in real life. Oh, have y'all? You look like a narwhal. Okay, well, <laughs> look like a You both look one, like a so. troll. <laughs> <laughs> you yours would be would make sense to be a narwhal. So <laughs> and talk a big one. Narwhal. Anyways, yeah, shout out to people who've seen them. I I've never seen them, so Yeah, me neither. No, yeah, me either. Uh so yeah, if you've seen them, you I, are better than us. And with that, what is a narwhal? A nar- narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion because they're so awesome. You know, you never heard the song or nothing? No, what the? Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to watch it after this because fuck. Uh, anyways, no, oh. we thank yeah. you guys for uh listening to our podcast. It's like a whale, but a mini whale <laughs> with a fucking unicorn horn for a nose. What? Also, you said I look like one, and that's pretty fucked up. You didn't even know what a narwhal looked like. All right. Okay. You can find us on hypothetically sound.popping.com. Let you fucking hold on. No, 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 no. This motherfucker needs to apologize right now. So, uh, on YouTube so at sorry. hypothetically sound.com. No, apologize. It could be found on Podbean, YouTube, um, anything Facebook, you can Twitter. possibly think of. Facebook, Twitter. I'm quitting the show, season three. Yeah, this kid. Leave Every a season comment. we lose a we lose a member. <laughs> Tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell us what we're doing right. Yeah, apologizing. That's what you're doing wrong. Say sorry. Give us some ideas if there's anything you want. I got hear. an idea. Say uh, sorry. We got about three to four more episodes this season of the Earth's Mysteries and Wonders, and then we're getting into something that everybody loves, anime. So yeah, yeah. look forward to that in May. Tune in next week. For it's vampires. gonna be May. Yeah, vampires. Stop next. it. Stop, stop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's your second time you changed a classic song and ruined it for me. Please stop. And with that, we thank you guys again. Thanks, guys. And until next time, deuces. Peace. Can you please just apologize? Like, that's all I'm asking. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah.